side. Hey guys. Well, I've had a day off today at the farm, which has been great. It's been an awesome week of work as we've had a couple of our first butchering days. And I figured I'd take this opportunity to come over here and show you the brooder that we use to uh, brood all the chicks that come onto the farm, whether it be um, our turkeys or uh, the Cornish Cross chickens. So this is All right, so this is the dual brooder setup that we have going on here. We have two brooders. This one just came online a couple weeks ago, and you can see that it's open and ready for clean out. We just had a set of um, Cornish crosses that went out into the lower pasture. You can see this one has a very nice swinging open door that will can come all the way down and close. DT thinks there's little fluffy treats for him in here. But this one has a door that opens up and you can sweep out all the chicken litter, which will likely be one of my chores this coming week. I think we've got a fresh group of turkeys coming in. Or not turkeys, I'm sorry, chickens. But I'll go over here where we do have some baby turkeys all right it's kind of like sleepy time in here and the fan cycles on so I'll speak up so hopefully you can hear me but basically what you have in here is two heaters okay and then you have a fan in the back which cycles on and off to pull in fresh air and circulate it and then we feed the turkeys and the chickens both with supplemental cardboard feeders which will get changed out every group and then bucket feeders which are pretty simple it's just a gravity bucket you fill it up each day the feed goes down um, as they eat a little bit of a little bit of sleepy time all right and then we use what looks very similar to what you would see in a poultry house, but these are turkey waters. These are going to sit down when the turkey comes up and hits it with its beak. It lets a little bit of water out. Um, the bedding is a peat moss, okay, as opposed to a shaving, which we'll use for the chicks. Um, when I say chicks, I mean Cornish cross chicks. And we will also switch that out with every group. Um, in here right now, there are 500 turkeys. As you can see, they're not stressed out. They're evenly spaced. It's pretty comfortable, it's quiet, it's calm, um, and that's what we like to see. When we have um, chickens in here, these brooders can hold up to, uh, I think it's about 850, so you can get quite a few birds in here. They'll spend three weeks in here before they'll get moved out to the chicken pens where we'll move them around the pasture. So it's a great setup. Right now it's just a little over 100 degrees, nice and toasty. That's the brooder from the inside. Um, the waters are suspended from pulleys on the uh, ceiling, which you can then come over and just pull up and down. Positive pressure is created by these vents up here at the top. So when the fan turns on and cycles air through, um, it's, it, it pulls fresh air in, pushes it down, and then pulls it right back up. Uh, the water lines are these orange lines. They go up and then back to the outside to the well. So constantly have a flow of fresh water, fresh air, and then obviously feed. I'm typically in here three times a day to just walk through, check on the birds, make sure everybody's okay. They're still in a slightly fragile stage right now um, and they need that much attention. But once we get a few weeks on, they won't need quite as much time uh, in case uh, you didn't get a good look at this here. This is a 40-foot shipping container on wheels. All right, so that is the brooders. And as the season continues to go on, we're going to have these things full of birds and just turning over, humming. Um, really cool system. You're going to see a lot of different systems at different farms. So this is just one way how this farm does it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a beautiful day today. Hope you're getting outside. 
maybe having a little bit of barbecue with some pastured birds you're getting from your local farm. But until next time, guys, have a great Sunday.